Anybody that knows me knows that Samantha is one of my four joys in life. My first daughter and always to be my little girl. Looking into her sparkling eyes as a baby, I knew she would grow up to be a special person someday. You grew up to be a stunningly beautiful woman with a caring heart and soul to match. Samantha, you could have not have made a dad prouder of the person that you became. Sam, you have it all. You're beautiful, kind, smart, compassionate, and you obviously have a great sense of humor since you marry my brother. Sam is one of the first people that I call to share good news with and one of the first people I call when I need support. She's been there with me through thick and thin, some of the hardest times of my life. And Nathan, I couldn't be happier than I am today knowing that from now on, she can count on you. I watched you personally evolve as your relationship with Samantha grew stronger and stronger. You make her feel whole, and I believe you're going to make a great dad someday. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> Nate, I have no idea how you roped in a girl like Sam. Well, I guess you look a little bit like me. Anais Nin said, you don't find love, it finds you. Who knew that the good looking creeper outside the ladies bathroom would be your husband? <laughs> and Nate fits right in with all of us. He's hardworking, he's generous, high energy, adventurous, and he knows how to have a good time. Growing up, Nate was always full of surprises, like, painting a unibrow on your face if you fell asleep at a party, or sending you a tasteful photo every year on your birthday. But Nate's biggest surprise, and the only one I've ever actually enjoyed, was when he told me he was dating a scientist. And I have to say, for as good a salesman as Nate is, Samantha Leonard was better than advertised. Aside from being smart, Samantha is beautiful, charming, funny, and more importantly, she puts up with this guy. But ultimately, that's what a good relationship is all about sharing and embracing each other's passions, even if you don't fully understand them. Despite what Chaucer might tell you, love is not blind. It's a conscious effort, a mutual respect. And while Sam might not know the first thing about diversifying a finance portfolio, her career in silence has taught her how to be a great lab partner, to remain patient in the face of adversity, to not get discouraged when things don't go exactly how you plan them, and the kicker in my book, not jump into conclusions without the hard evidence to back it up. Do you, Nathan, take Samantha to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, to share the remote and let her order Mexican food at least once a week, which is kind of a deal breaker, for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Samantha, take Nathan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, to convince him that he's still a premier athlete, and to always... <laughs> and to always hold Cole Haan's semi-annual sale sacred for as long as you both shall live. I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Something you may, may not know about Nate is he's a family man. He's the glue in our family. He keeps us all together. Without a doubt, Nate has a relentless work ethic and he's very competitive with himself. And his motivation stems from wanting to do what's best for his family. He believes it's what our grandparents wanted, especially our pa and grampy. And I'm very proud to be your brother. And I couldn't be happier for the two of you. And I'm happy to see your family get a little bit bigger. I love you guys. To Nate and Sam. Love constantly, accuse slowly, forgive quickly, and share everything. Be each other's best friend and open your hearts to each other and put your marriage first. May God bless your union and bring you the greatest joy today and always.
The more you invest in a marriage, the more valuable it becomes. A good marriage is the one in which allows for change and growth in both individuals. May you be abundantly blessed and highly favored in your professions and your relationship. May your dreams become one dream as your lives become one life, lived on purpose and with purpose. Honor the promises you made to each other in your courtship and in your ceremony today. Be faithful to make each other better tomorrow than you are today. We are all thrilled to be a part of your ever after, and may your joy be infectious today and always. I love you both. Cheers.